We are here at the beautiful Pine Mountain Lodge in Pine Brook, Kentucky. As one of our state parks, we pride ourselves with the views one can see throughout the year. We want you to reflect with us on a time so long ago, back when these towns were just blossoming into the cities that we know. 150 years ago to be exact. A time when our country had been split apart, but was beginning to mend again. No one here was alive back then, so we rely on history to tell us its tale, about this little mining county named after Joseph Bell. Pineville, known as the Gem City, and Middlesboro, known as the Magic City, both represent the town's specific qualities. Both had natural beauty and both were a place where dreams began. The territory was a new beginning for many families who began settling here. While the land was mainly uncharted, it became, it became a land of farming and more importantly coal. The first settlers of Bell County knew the potential the land had for them. Many people in the mountains didn't even see Christmas di as different than any other day. Their work still had to be done. Some would gather with family to eat a Christmas meal. The kids would gather around the fireplace to play a game of jacks, and Dad would get down the guitar while Mom would sing in that alto voice a song fit for a Christmas angel to sing. Then Dad would have everyone gather around as he read from the family Bible, a story so familiar, yet fresh every time it's heard. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even into Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad this saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. The 1950s and 60s brought about the baby boom generation. Television had begun to replace radio and Christmas became more and more prevalent and yet commercialized. For the first time ever, Santa Claus had become a central figure of the Christmas season. Entertainers like Irving Berlin, Bing Crosby, and countless others gave us music that we consider Christmas classics, such as White Christmas, Jingle Bell Rock, and Silver Bells. Elvis released his first Christmas album with love songs such as Up on the Housetop, Santa Claus is Back in Town, and Blue Christmas. Bell County, however, did not see all of these things. As though a child looking through the window of a toy store, Bell County could only look on in longing as Christmas evolved. While over time new traditions began to tri trickle down to Bell, many old traditions stayed. A child might receive a toy train or doll in one place, but others could only afford fruits such as oranges and clothes such as socks. This didn't disappoint children, however. At the time, Christmas was still more about family and spending time together than receiving and giving presents. Imagine a family gathered around the fireside listening to the radio play some of the new Christmas standards. Technology has transformed Christmas today. Many families are not able to get together for the holidays due to work schedules, distance, or other various reasons. Apps such as Skype and FaceTime have helped families connect in such a way. Facebook is a way that people digitally connect with friends. 
And don't forget Instagram, which sees millions of pictures uploaded during the Christmas season. While we begin the Christmas hustle and bustle five minutes after we've eaten Thanksgiving dinner on Grey Thursday until the moment the store closes on Christmas Eve, we have technology ever at our side. While it's great and all, sometimes we let the stuff get in the way of the true meaning of Christmas, to spend time with those that we love. This Christmas season, we encourage you to have a device for your Christmas. Create a new family tradition. Play a game of cards. Make a Christmas craft. Or read the classic tale, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blixen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys was flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His draw little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly, that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I'd laugh when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprung to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. We hope you've enjoyed our time reflecting on Christmas in Bell County. Please remember the reason for the season, and on behalf of the cities of Middlesbrough, Pineville, and Bell County, we would like to extend to you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year.